September 9th, Saturday, 840 Mountain Time, 2017. Hurricane Jose. This is Irma on the 12th, up here spinning as a tropical depression over Clarksville, Tennessee. Jose still active out here in the Atlantic Ocean. Had a lot of people ask what's going to uh, become of Jose. They're thinking maybe it's going to impact New York. Let's take a look and see. I've got three models, and they are interesting, I will say the least. But we're going up seven days. I mean, a week, um, actually a little over a week in some cases, away. So a lot can change. We know that these models will change. But right now, they do look a little interesting. And if they did change, maybe it could impact the, at least the eastern United States somewhere. But let's look and see. I'll step it forward. Right now, this is Jose on the 12th. Irma's inland. Let's step it forward to the 14th. Moves over to the uh, island area again. 15th up parallel with uh, West Palm, Florida, then up parallel with the Carolinas on the 16th, the 17th, Virginia, and it's like, okay, the 18th, the outer bands reaching New York. So that is one uh, model, that's Venture Sky, and again, this would change 20 times between now and the 18th, but there is a long shot possibility. Let me show you another model. This one is uh, Surf Sky. It shows the highs and lows, and it shows Irma going up inland. It's got Jose right here. We'll step it through one day at a time. Actually, it's half a day each click. There's Irma going up Florida into the mainland. Now we are at the 11th, September 11th, Irma's up over Georgia, and Jose is still hanging around. Let's just step it through. I'll take it up to the 17th at the end of the day. I can go to the beginning of the 18th and see what it does. It does a circle, goes back towards the islands again, then towards Florida, up off the coast of the Carolinas on the 16th, moving up a little closer to the Carolinas, late on the 16th, the 17th, nearing North Carolina, and then turning northward, and that's as far as we can go with this model. But it is getting closer. That's less than 100 miles offshore of uh, North Carolina on late on the 17th. Here's another model I have. And it does also bring it close to the eastern coast of the United States. We're going to start off on Sunday, September 10th. We're going to step it forward 12 hours at a time. We're out in the Atlantic Ocean. We started out by the islands again. Now we're getting closer to the eastern seaboard of the United States. North Carolina on the 17th. Virginia. It's a little difficult to tell. This is a different map. But right there's Manhattan, New York on the 18th. That's definitely Manhattan. Massachusetts. Outer winds hitting Massachusetts and Manhattan on the 18th. One more step. It The outer winds are hitting the upper northeastern United States. Will it? That is very much a long shot. That is way too far out. But nevertheless, it is a player for a possible major hurricane impact. That's 930 millibars, even up that high in the latitudes. That's still a strong hurricane. This model and the other models will change a lot between now and then. A lot can change, especially if you pay attention to this one and monitor the highs and the lows. The highs are what steer these things. The lows come in, affect the highs, cause it to go a different direction. So if you pay attention to this one, you kind of have a pretty good idea of at least a general direction that it's going to go. But could this thing be a player? 
at least in the eastern United States in the coming week to, to eight days? Absolutely it could. Jose could impact the eastern United States. That is a big yes. Thanks for watching, guys, and be safe out there.